Welcome everyone! Here is a new video from Geometry. In this video, we'll take a look at two examples of how to find length of missing sides of an object and how to find the perimeter of an object. So let's jump in and work on example number one. What is the perimeter of this object? At first, it looks like pretty easy, but if we look a little closer, we can see that we don't have this side length here and we don't have this side length here as well. So basically, we have to find the length of these two sides in order to find the perimeter of the object. So since this side length here is 4, that means that this piece here is equal to 4, which means that this side length is equal to 20 minus 4, which is equal to 16. We can use the same logic to find this side length. So if this side length is equal to 4, that means that this piece here is equal to 4, which means that this side length is equal to 10 minus 4, which is equal to 6. Now we have all the sides and we can add them all up at, and we can find the perimeter. So we have 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 and 10 plus 20 is 30 plus 20 is 50 plus 10 is 60 so the perimeter is c 60. perfect now for the second example pause the video try to solve it by yourself come back and we'll do it together okay if you're back let's work on example two here we will find the length of the sides A and B and then we will find the perimeter of the object as well. Pretty much the same as the first example. So let's start off by finding the length of side A. So in order to find the length of side A, we will use the lengths of the other horizontal sides here. So if we look at the top of the object, we can see that this side length is the widest point of the object. And now if we move side A, if we move it here a little up, and if we can take a look at this side length, if, if this is 20, that means that this piece here is 20 as well. So basically, these three pieces here, if we add them all up, we can get this side length 60. So we have 12 plus A plus 20 is equal to 60. So A is equal to 60 minus 12 minus 20. And A is equal to 60 minus 20 is 40 minus 12. This is equal to 28. So we found side A. Now let's find side B here. To find this vertical length, we will use these three vertical sides. So if this side here is 16, that means that this piece here is equal to 16 as well. So these two, 16 and 36, these two add up to 52. So basically, this whole piece here is equal to 52. Now, if we move B, if side B, if we move it here, B and 28, they, these two add up to 52 as well. So B plus 28 is equal to 52. So B is equal to 52 minus 28, which is equal to 24. Now we know both A and B, and now we can find the perimeter of the object. By definition, the perimeter is the distance around the outside edges of an object. So if we add all these numbers here, we will get the final result, which is 60 plus B is 24 plus 20 plus 28 plus 28 plus 36 plus 12 plus 16 so this is equal to 224 so the answer is c 224 this is it for this video i hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching take care